Here's my solution. So for Subway, I decided I'm going to return something that looks uh, just like the successor function, only it's going to have all possible successors. So it's going to be a dictionary of this form for any station uh, that you ask me for. Stations are, are states in this problem. All you need to represent a uh, state in this problem is what station am I currently at. Each of those, I'm going to give you a dictionary that looks like a successor function. And that is, it has a combination of state action pairs. So the state is just going to be the uh, uh, neighboring station, and then the action is the line that you take. So for example, if I'm at um, uh, Bowdoin, then one of the states I can arrive at is government, and the action I take to get there is follow the blue line. How do I do that? Well, one thing is I uh, import the uh, collections module. I use collections default dict. So I'm saying successors is a dictionary. And by default, if there's a value that isn't there, the default is going to be a dictionary. So here's what successors look like. And the default value, if I ask for the value of a station and there's nothing there, make it be an empty dictionary. The, the line items are a set of line stops pairs. So I'm going to go over those, the line name and stops. Then I'm going to look at uh, all the overlapping pairs, Bowdoin government, government state, state aquarium, that I get by splitting up the stops into a list on spaces. And then I'm saying uh, a successor of going from A to B, from Bowdoin to government, you can do that along the line name. And similarly, going from government to Bowdoin, you can do that along the line name here, blue. Then return the successors. Overlapping pairs takes any sequence and just gives me those pairs. So if you give me this uh, sequence of this turned into a list, the overlapping pairs are first Bowdoin government, then government and state, then state and aquarium. This is useful here, and it's useful in general. Here's my ride function. It's now very easy. It's the shortest path search. That makes sense. Uh, I don't need lowest cost search because there are no costs here. I'm just uh, going from one station to the next. I start here. Where am I trying to get to? Well, the goal is to get to there. So I'm trying to get to some place where, uh, and I just put the function in line here rather than defining it separately. You could have done it either way. Because the functions were short, I decided to put them in line. But uh, naming the function would also be fine. Uh, lambda S, S stands for state or for station or for stop. And we ask, are we there? And then uh, the successor function, well, we've already built up the successor function in this uh, sy subway system, Boston. So we just say, look into uh, Boston, that's a dictionary, and look for the station that I'm currently at, and that will give me a list of successors. And then shortest path search does the rest. What does longest ride do? First, I have to find all the stops, and that's a little bit complicated because I've hidden them away in this uh, dictionary for the, the system. Uh, but I can go through uh, with uh, this uh, generator expression to come up with a set of, of stops. And then I just iterate through all possible stations, A and B, look at uh, for A in all possible stops and for B in all possible stops, generate the, uh, the ride, the shortest path search between them, and then take the longest out of all those shortest paths, and that's my longest ride.